where's your bread and butter at? Where's your bread and butter at? This has been the topic of the week that's been on my mind, come up with clients, friends, colleagues, team members, and where's your bread and butter at? So in this example, I've got Michael Jordan flying high. His bread and butter was playing basketball, winning at basketball. And there was a period during his career where he went and played baseball. That was not where his bread and butter was at. And so after some time, he went back into basketball. And of course he was, well, not of course, but he was nowhere the same level in baseball that he was in basketball, of course. So this theme has been coming up. And so for myself, what I noticed is I got away from my bread and butter. And I'll share with you what that is. And I wonder if that's ever happened to you, where you have something that's working, you have a foundation there, but for whatever reason, you go in a different area. And I was listening to a video by Dan Henry um, last night, and this topic came up. So like, oh, wow, here it is again. And I've only seen like two of his videos, so can't really speak to his other content. But in this one, he was saying that he had a friend that uh, had a a coach that coached the celebrities and like high ticket things. And the advice from that coach to this person who was the friend was that so often people get away from the things that got them success in the first place. And for whatever reason, they feel like it gets boring or there's a shiny object over there, over here, or maybe even think that, Hey, created success here can do that anywhere, everywhere at any time. When the reality is we have our own zone of genius. We have our foundation of experience that comes together to make things way easier, way smoother, way faster in our zone than it would in other areas. So that's my question for you is where's your bread and butter at? Where have you really made your career? Where have you had your foundation of success? And instead, where can you build upon that rather than hopping in somewhere else? Yes, of course, there's a case to be made for innovating and branching out and then merging different categories and sectors together. Of course, you know, that's one of the hallmarks of Leonardo da Vinci. When I went through his biography, it's like I saw that really clearly is that he would he was in one area and then he'd get curious about this other one and then this other one. And then it seemed like there not nothing was happening, but then boom, they all converged together to create a breakthrough in that one field. But that's the thing, went back to that one field and then brought it together to create the leap forward in that field. But if we're just hopping, 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 we get away from our bread and butter. Get away from your biscuits being buttered. So where is your bread and butter? For me, it's been SEO. SEO is how I made my first dollar online um, with affiliate marketing, YouTube videos, I've uh, got that up to, was it 2,500 a week, over 2,500 a week at one point. And later on, I would end up doing local SEO for many, 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 many years, generating over 500,000 leads. And so this current state with True Freedom, or as I'm doing this video, it's like that SEO piece was not in there. And as I've been cl getting closer, my intuition has been, been guiding me to bring that back in. However, I didn't see the specifics of how it clicked in until recently, until this week. It's like, ah. Okay, here it is. And dusting off the old skills, seeing the clear pathway. So it's getting back to the bread and butter. And so that's been really powerful for me because I feel like this is, you know, we each have a foundation that our feet can firmly be upon. And yes, we're all innovators. Like I tend to attract innovators. So chances are <laughs> you're an innovator. And so, you know, it's going to naturally pull us into new frontiers, new different things to explore. However, we can't lose our, our base, I believe. It's almost like if we're an astronaut floating, exploring, we got to have that cord that connects us back to HQ, back to the mothership. So that's my yeah message for you is where is your bread and butter at? Where is your zone and how can you bring that back into double down, triple down, quadruple down, 10x down on that foundation that you have? 
because I think, well, I just find it for myself, clients, it's so easy for us to forget what we've accomplished and just pick, oh, you know, whatever. But it's like, no, there's many, 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 many layers that you have that you've built for your foundation. You've built unconscious competence. And that's what happens when we build unconscious competence. We forget about it. We don't even think it's a big deal because we're doing it automatically. And that's the thing that I find people's their zone of genius is that tends to bring us out of our zone of genius because we didn't realize all the things that we would do. So we got to come back, stay in that, um, expand in that zone too. It's not even like we're in, in cage or anything, but it's just like, where do we locate? Where do we put our feet firmly upon and then expand? So the people who are like, don't take away my freedom. I can be wherever I want. It's like, you're going to have the freedom. It's just where you're going to plant your feet. And if your feet aren't planted, if our, my feet aren't planted anywhere, it's like almost being like in the ocean, treading water. Like that's not freedom. So where is your bread and butter at? Where is your feet firmly on what I've talked about before is where's your mountain of experience standing upon that? Yes, reaching out to innovate and bring in new insights, but then consolidate them upon that foundation. And so in this context, you know, I've talked about build upon your foundation, your mountain of experience. I think this is also another nuance of looking at, you know, in your career, what skill set, you know, been bread and butter for you. It's like SEO for me, what's been for you? And how can you take that piece? And it's just another way of looking at where's your zone of genius? Where's your mountain of experience? Where's your bread and butter at? Just another way of looking at another angle to get a more complete picture of what is that zone for you so that you can be firmly planted, expanding out with your arms, unchained and making the impact that you want to make. Yeah. So that's my question for you. Where's your bread and butter at?